Today is March 28, 2012. I'm going to be speaking with you brothers today about something that I sh should have spoke about a long time ago, which is about black women, black women here in America, okay? Now, this is going to be a touchy, touchy subject. And a lot of people going to get offended by it, but, but it's going to be the truth, all right? There's going to be a lot of shit that come, nasty shit that's going to come out of my mouth that you ain't going to like, okay? But uh, it's going to be the truth, okay? Now, if you have a problem with that, you can go to the next video. But if you want to know about some of these black women and what's going on today, you know, then stay tuned because I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna give it to you raw, just like I give it to you raw in all my other videos. Okay. Now, some of the most prejudiced people I've encountered in my life. I'm 32 years old. Okay. Some of the most prejudiced people I've encountered in my life have been black women. Okay. I say, what the fuck this nigga is talking about? There's a difference between prejudice and racism, okay? There's a big difference. Racism, what's been put out there in the mainstream media is one color disliking another color or nationality, etc., etc. Prejudice is uh, the best example I can put it. You have a favorite football team, okay? A favorite football team that you stick by, win or lose, okay? That you buy all the apparel and, 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 and accessories and all that kind of stuff. You support that team, all right? But you dislike the other teams, okay? You only stuck on this one team, all right? That's prejudice, a form of it anyway, okay? You don't like the you you like the game, but you don't like the other team. You have one team that you like, you stick with them, win or lose. Okay, that's prejudice. If you weren't prejudiced towards a team, you'll like all of them. Okay, but uh, it's all the same game. It's all the same sport, but you just got your one team that you like. All right, that you are hung up on. And that's a lot of black women, okay? A lot of them are prejudiced towards black men, all right? And the thing about it is, this, you know, this go, this go way back into the 90s, all right? All that bullshit about uh, the, 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 the goddamn songs that came out, the TLC, I don't, I don't want no scrub, uh, and, and Beyonce, uh, Pay, pay my telephone bills and maybe we can chill and all that bullshit, you know. That's when black women started getting it, you know, getting, getting that ego up and, 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 and uh, being independent and all that kind of shit, letting it go to their head, all right. And, you know, I saw a lot of them fucked up, all right. They made fucked up choices, okay. And keep making fucked up choices. The number one choice a black woman to, that's the mate, that's the fucked up the whole black community is her turning against the black man. You probably say, well, she ain't turning against the black man because she's still having babies by him. That's bullshit, okay? Black women, a lot of them turn against the black man. And some of them don't even know it. Hell no, nah, some of them don't know. And from my experience, okay, it's hard for a black woman to admit wrongdoing, all right? Very, very hard, all right? That's like trying to crack a fucking diamond with your teeth, all right? Black woman ain't gonna really admit when she wrong. She is fucking arrogant, proud, and don't want to listen. That's the whole problem. She don't want to listen to a black man. Okay? Not all of them. Not all of them. But a lot of them. 
and you you brothers know the ones I'm talking about. All right, you know what, which ones I'm talking about. I mean, so hard-headed ass bitches. All right. Now I live in the state of Louisiana. We got the highest rate of HIV AIDS. Okay. Never mind New York. Never mind San Francisco. Never mind Atlanta. We got it. Okay. And we're basically a fucking hole in the wall compared to the other states and shit, you know? I'm just keeping it real. But a lot of these women down here, a lot of these sisters, they out there. They they are out there, okay? And there's a lot of the sisters that spreading this shit, okay? Probably say, oh, he being, you know, uh, too judgmental and all that. I'm going to break it down to you. I'm going to break this shit down to you, okay? If you go to Backpage.com right now and you go to the city of Baton Rouge, you're going to see the sisters dominate the motherfucking ass. You're going to hardly see too many white women on there. You're going to see sisters on there. And you know who fucking them sisters? A lot of brothers. And a, the more white men fucking them also, okay? Now, that's a revolving door for HIV and AIDS, okay? It's a revolving door. If she ain't got it, she gonna get it. And when she get it, she gonna spread it because she fucking about 10 niggas a day. Okay? And she on back page uh, selling that ass. Alright? So, she's gonna be what they call the goddamn gift giver. And she gonna keep giving it and giving it and giving it and giving it. Okay? That's why we have the, 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 so bad down here with HIV AIDS. Because a lot of these bitches be lying, okay? A lot of them be having sex and be lying. I can tell you some nasty stories about some of these nasty bitches down here. You wouldn't even look at sisters and say, be like, damn, a sister did that shit? Yes. Okay? Hell yes. All right? Because a lot of them nasty. A lot of them nasty, nasty, nasty. Okay? And that's why I, I don't... I, I have to be careful the kind of sisters I fuck with down here. Alright? Brothers, I'm telling you, listen up, okay? If you got a good sister, alright? Keep her. Keep her, keep her, keep her. Alright? Now I'm going to tell you what a good sister is. Alright? A good one. Not by your perception. By what the fuck it really is, alright? You got a good sister when your ass broke, okay, and she giving you money, all right, and she stick by you. You got a good sister when you get sick, okay, sick from a common cold, and she run to the store and get your ass some medicine and rub your head and rub your back and, 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 and kiss you and hope you get well. And run your bath water and shit, okay? That's a good sister. A good sister, when you lay next to her in bed, alright, she gonna take the covers and put it over you, make sure you don't you don't uh, get cold. Alright? She might kiss you, she might not, but when she make that move to make sure your ass have enough cover on that side of the bed, that's a good sister. Okay? That's a good sister. A good sister don't go back and run up and tell everything that 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 you that goes on under the under the household, okay, under the roof. All right, I meaning that if you fall on hard times, or uh, you go and get a DWI or some shit, any damn thing, and you confide in her and you tell her. And she don't go and tell nobody, like one of her friends or one of her sisters or one of her mama, uh, her mama or some shit like that, a stepmom. You got a good sister, okay? She gonna hold it down. Ain't too many sisters like that. Not 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 here in America. Hell no. Nah. You know you you tell them something, 
They go back and tell uh, their the mama, the, the friends, and everything. And she fuck around there and tell them that you good in bed. One of her friends or her sisters, they gonna want some of that dick. They gonna want you to lay that pipe to her. Okay? And that's when the problems come in. I don't, I don't know how strong a lot of you brothers are. You know, some of y'all might fall temptation in that shit. But if you fuck around there, you go behind your old lady back and sleep with her sister or some shit like that, you won't, you know ain't nothing good gonna come out of it, all right? That's when you know you got a good one when she don't go back and run and tell every damn thing. But all these black women, they always got some bitch in her head, okay? In her head, telling her this, telling her that. Making her second guess what some shit that you done told her, which was the truth, okay? If you told her something and knew it was the truth, she gonna go back and tell her friend, and her friend gonna go back and her, gonna have her second guessing, okay? So, you know, it's you, you're not dealing, when you have a sister, you should have her to yourself, okay? Not spreading her thin with everybody else, all right? With mama, stepmom, you know, cousin, sister, auntie, and all that bullshit. You know? If you call her, and she'll answer the phone, she say, oh, I was on the phone with my sister or my cousin or some bullshit like that. Leave the bitch alone, okay? Leave her alone, because she ain't going to put you first, all right? She should put you first. You a fucking king. You you should you you should come first at all goddamn times, okay? Unless y'all got kids involved. If there ain't no kids involved, your ass should come first. If there's kids, then let the kids come first. Alright? But nowadays it, it ain't like that. Hell no. It is not like that. These sisters fucking out there running around all fucked up in the head. You know, I don't know if it's the, I, I don't know what it is, okay? But they fucked up in the head and they don't want to listen to no man, okay? They only want to listen to a man when they get, you know, in their mid-30s, 40s, when they finally figure out they keep making the same goddamn mistakes, they figure out something's wrong. I, I'm, I'm making the same mistakes. And they don't realize that shit until they look in the mirror and start seeing wrinkles and gray hair in their head, okay? When they ain't got nobody. When kids are grown, or moved out, or some of them still living there, they got grandkids and shit running around, and she, you know, no better off than what she was 10, ten years before, okay? So they start to figure, figure out something's wrong. And when they listen to a man, they go listen to the pastor in, in the goddamn church, okay? Which is the last person they should be listening to. That's why a lot of them in church right now, okay? Some of the biggest freaks in the church, all right? You want to find you a freak, a stone cold freak, you find one in church. Put them on sitting in there, all right? Plenty, plenty. Be out there the night before shaking that ass, giving that ass up. And then go to church the next Sunday. Or don't go, just go to church on the first Sunday to get that, to get the communion and shit. Okay? They do it once a month, they good. Get that communion. Church before on the first Sunday. All right? But, uh, trifling, trifling ass bitches. Brothers, you gotta be strong, okay? You gotta be strong. You got to. Because we go up against a white man, and we go up against a black woman, okay? Now, in her mind, the white man is not our enemy, okay? He's not. In her mind, He's not. He's no wrongdoing, no nothing. She don't understand the fucking system is rigged, okay? She don't understand that. 
She think when you say something, you come up with excuses, or this and that, et cetera, et cetera. Okay? That's why I say, don't expect the sister to understand some of the things that you go through. A brother will understand a lot of the things that you go through before a sister would. All right? You'll find strength in one of your brothers, not in the sister, okay? You'll find comfort in sister, but you ain't gonna find no goddamn strength in no sister right these days. Not, not, not here in America, no. You might even find strength in your kids, but you ain't gonna find her, find strength in, in the sister these days, okay? I mean, it's like a fucking circus when you step out and look at it. Look at it for what the fuck it is. All right? Look at it for what it is. Not what you see every day. Just step back and look at shit for what it is. Do we not live in the same nation as sisters that wear other people's hair? Okay? No other nation do that shit. To my knowledge anyway. Okay? No nation of black women Go and buy hair from out the goddamn store, somebody else's hair, or either a horse's hair, and 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 glue it to their hair. What little hair they have, what little hair they have anyway. Okay, that's insane. That is fucking insane. Okay, look at shit for what it is. That is fucking insane. Hmm. The bitch go and buy. The, and it ain't no cheap hair. This expensive shit, okay? Flown in from other countries. Alright? Well, it's a big commodity in, in, in that country. A billion dollar bit, uh, industry of, of uh, selling hair. Selling somebody else's hair because they not content with their own goddamn hair. Bitches, you sick? I don't understand that. I don't. If you can't grow no fucking hair, be happy, all right? Wear it natural, be happy with it. Don't go, only species on this planet that go buy somebody else's hair and put it in their head, okay? That's crazy. That's fucking crazy. You know what? If I cut the hair off my balls, okay? My girl better not have a problem with wearing it. You start, you, 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 you go into your head, you can wear somebody else's hair, you can wear the hair off my balls, okay? If I'm your man, you gonna tell your girlfriend, your girlfriend be like, ooh, girl, that, that hair look good. Yeah, it look good. Well, what kind of hair that is? Oh, that's just the hair off my man's balls. That's, that's what I'm talking about, huh? That's what I'm talking about. If, if, if that's not insane, I don't know what is. Okay? You might as well wear that hair off my balls if you're going to wear somebody else's hair that you don't even know nothing about. Okay? That's the kind of shit I'm talking about. All right? You brothers need to, you know, kind of understand, step back and look at shit for what it is. All right? Look at it for what it really, really is. All right? I'm biased universally because if I was uh, 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 from another planet or something like that and I encountered this shit I would think black women are fucking crazy in America I will think I already think that a lot of that shit anyway but I will even be more so uh, amazed because of some you know I'm not looking at the shit every day Majority of the time, when we see a fine black woman, we looking at that ass. Hell yeah, we looking at that ass before we look at the hair. We looking at the thighs, we looking at the skin, we looking at, at the nipple, all that. Whatever skin she's showing, we looking at it. We looking at it. Hmm? Whether she got on something tight or whatever, but the first thing we gonna be looking at is that ass. Hmm? That's the first thing. So we ain't really focus on the how or whatever. When you step back and look at it for what it is, she got somebody else's hair in her head. Hmm? But you don't really, that shit don't really click until you're in the bed with her. All right? 
until you in get get in get in the bed with her, and you get to some ass or whatever, and you notice that fake shit in her hand. Hmm? But women spot that shit all the time. When a woman look at another woman, she looking at her hair first, more than likely. Then she look at the nails, and then she look at the physique, the ass, and all of that. And what she's wearing and all that kind of shit. Just to see if it'll uh if she will she will place herself in her shoes, literally. To see if she look good, if she can wear that. You see what I'm saying? Women compete with one another. And that's the problem. Okay? They compete with one another. They go out and try to uh impress women that they don't even know or don't even like, okay? It's a fucking fashion show. When women go to the clubs, they don't just go to the clubs to look good for the uh, for us brothers. They go to make other women pissed off, jealous. You know that term, oh, I got a lot of haters and all of that. That's, that's the kind of shit I'm talking about. You gotta feel important just to have somebody hate on you. And a lot of women feed off of that shit. Feed off of it like vampires. They'll rather, rather somebody to so-called hate on them than to just ignore them, okay? Just fucking ignore them. You know how you walk by a white person and they, you know, a lot of white, a lot of white folks, you walk by a white person and it's like, it's like you're not even there. Some of them, okay? Some of them will speak, but some of them don't, won't even look at your ass, won't even acknowledge you, okay? Which I don't have a problem with, you know? Fuck, if you don't want to speak to me, it ain't no problem. I don't have a problem with that, you know? You speak to me, I'm going to speak back to you. I don't give a damn what color you are. It's just common courtesy, okay? But the thing about it, they would rather have somebody hate, so-called hate on them than to just ignore them. Like they not even there. That's a fucking sickness right there. That's a fucking sickness. You know, big competition just to look good, so-called look good, with fake shit in your head and fake nails and maybe even some fake implants. You see what I'm saying? So, I mean, us brothers, you know, we go through a lot. We go through a fucking lot. That's why I still stand on my words, praise the Negro. Praise the Negro, okay? Praise it. We go through a lot. Us brothers, we go through a fucking lot, all right? We go through a lot. You know, I still stand by my statements 100%. 100%. Us brothers, we don't control the flow of drugs or anything like that. Nothing like that. Everything that we do is basically because we're allowed to do it. It's benefiting the establishment. It's benefiting the elite, some shape, form, or fashion, okay? The courts are big business, all right? Big business. We're back on topic. We go through a lot, okay? You know, and I want you brothers to really understand. You have to, you have to test your woman. You have to test your woman every once in a while to see where she at. To see if she loyal to, loyal to you, if she love you, et cetera, et cetera. All right? In order to get somewhat of a decent woman these days. You gotta so-called have something going for you, okay? In her mind anyway. Alright? And sometimes that ain't even good enough. Meaning that if, if, this, if a sister is within a certain income bracket, she gonna expect your ass to be like that. Of course she gonna expect that. All right? Even though you trying, you got potential, she gonna expect for your ass to just be like that instantly. 
I want a man to have his shit together, et cetera, et cetera, and this and that, nigga, that and that. But the bitch never even say what she has to offer for a, a man in return, okay? In return, what do you have to offer a black man? Hmm? That's, that's the real question. That's the real question. And a lot of the times, it ain't a damn thing they call for you. And if it is, it's some bullshit. It's some bullshit. Okay? They come and drop some shit on your ass. You be like, damn. Why the fuck you didn't tell me this in the first place? If it ain't that, you, they want to tell you their life story or some shit like that. Women like to talk, all right? A lot of them like to talk. They like to talk and tell their version of the story. Or whatever the fuck it is, okay? That's why I always talk to a sister, find out what's going on in her head, okay? And I noticed that, you know, when I ask a sister, you know, I, I, I fuck around with a lot of women. Like I said before, I get plenty of pussy. It ain't because of what the fuck come out of my mouth. Not, not, not the majority of the time. It ain't because of what, it ain't because of my bloodline. It ain't because of who I am. It's because of my looks. Women like handsome men, all right? They like muscles. That's what they like. So when a woman sees something, that she like, she gonna go after it. Don't give a fuck what, what, what's, you know, what's behind it and all of that. You got a lot of these sisters, worse than a lot of us brothers were sleeping around and shit like that. I'm just keeping it real with you, all right? I done had women use me for sex, okay? That I wanted to, you know, really kind of maybe establish some with, you know? And that's just how it is these days. A lot of these sisters are out there. You know, some of them, you know, the, some of the ones that want to have some with me, I ain't want to have nothing with them. I just wanted to get in that ass, you know? Plain, plain and simple. But um, a lot of sisters, if you got a woman and that woman is with you, you need to recognize why she with you, okay? A lot of the times, it ain't for the right reasons. That's why, that's why a lot of sisters, you all fucked up. When you meet a sister that's over, shit, 21, 22, if she ain't in school or working or whatever, or uh, she ain't got no kids or whatever, you, you, th there's something wrong, okay? There's something wrong. When a sister come at you with a, with a story and it don't sound right, when you first meet her, and she telling you this and she telling you that she gonna throw some shit out to you where you can put put it together somewhat put it together why she don't have a man and why she in the situation that she in okay it's because of the past choices that she made all right if she got four kids or two kids and the father is not around she ain't got no man in the house. It's because of her ass. Alright? It's because of her. A man will be in there. But he ain't gonna put up with no bullshit. It's something about her that keep running a man off. Okay? And it ain't necessarily about how she look. It's about the shit that she do. Okay? It could be many, many different things. Alright? She can be nasty. Don't want to clean up. Okay? You want to find out if her sister nasty? Do you want to find out if her sister is nasty? Alright? You look in her goddamn bathroom. Alright? Never mind the bathroom. Never mind the kitchen. Alright? The bathroom. The bathroom is the place where you keep yourself clean. Alright? 
You don't keep the bathroom clean, you're nasty, okay? Filth plus filth is more filth, okay? So if you can't keep the bathroom clean, you ain't clean, all right? You're not. Now, a lot of sisters don't have men. That's always the reason why a sister that's over 25 don't have no man, okay? Don't have a man. A lot of them will put that shit out and say, oh, I'm single by choice. Bitch, you ain't single by choice. You single because don't nobody ain't gonna to put up with your bullshit. You might be hard around, you might be a liar. You know, nobody ain't gonna put up with that. You know? And the thing about it, brothers, is that a lot of sisters, when they get older, they figure it out. But by that time, they all, you know, that ass, it, it, it ain't the way it used to be. They don't have that figure like they once had, okay? It's kind of like, okay, when a sister, she knows she has it going on, okay? She gonna be fucking, all right? I'm gonna keep it real with you. If the sister know that she fine, okay? A lot of sisters don't know that they fine. Let me tell you how they know that they fine. It's because of us, all right? Because of our actions, all right? They don't know how fine they are until we tell them. Until we start shoving out money and, and, and buying cars and doing all that shit, okay? That's how they determine they, they worth. They self-worth anyway, a lot of them, okay? Because let's keep it real. A lot, of, a lot of sisters are whores. A lot of them are whores. Okay? Now let me break it down to you. A hoe don't necessarily mean that she out on the street selling that ass. Okay? A whore is somebody that you have to keep keep giving something to 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 to, to, to appease them, okay? To basically get them to do what you want them to do. Alright? In a sense, a whore will lie, a whore will use, okay? Those are the attributes of a whore. A lot of brothers end up marrying whores, okay? That's one mistake I ain't made yet anyway that I'm trying to avoid from making. That's why I ain't never been married. Don't have any plans, not right now. Hell no. Nah. Okay? Because a lot of sisters are with us because of something that we got going on. If a lot of sisters say, oh, there ain't no good man around, well, go make a good man. Go get somebody off the street. Go get a brother off the street. Clean him up. Okay? And turn him into a good man. Go find your brother in prison. Okay? Clean him up. Turn him into a good man. They want something that's already shake the mold that they ain't got to do nothing that they ain't got to touch okay they ain't got to they ain't got to work with something that's gonna work with them and that's us okay that's us a lot of us brothers who got our shit together okay that's why they ain't really trying to fuck with no brother that's doing bad and that kind of stuff that's why a lot of them end up getting played okay a lot of brothers that's doing bad, they got a lot, okay? To, to, to get the woman to do something. To do what, what, what they want them to do. Okay? But a lot of other brothers, you got to do something. You got to shove out some kind of material item, okay? To appease her, all right? To keep her attention, all right? To keep her coming around. She'll pretend to even like you, okay? When she don't, I don't say she don't like you, but find you to be okay, all right? Tolerable. Tolerable compared to the other niggas that she done fuck with back in her time, you know? But a lot of black women are fucking whores, all right? 
they are. They are whores. I'm gonna be real with you. My mama is a hoe, all right? My, hell yes, hell yes. I seen it when I was younger. She ain't no hoe right now, but yes, she was out there, all right? My mama was married to my daddy, uh, but they were separated. She, you know, dated this guy for 16 years, all right? While still being married to my daddy. And getting child support. Alright? Hell yeah. Fucking right. My my granddaddy. My mama's uh mama. My granddaddy uh married my grandma on my mama's side. My grandma already had a child. Okay? Wasn't even for my granddaddy. But he still married her anyway. He's still married. He still married her and, 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 uh, she cheated. You fucking right. Granddaddy got sick. Grandma started seeing another man. Another fucking man that was married already, okay? That she still seeing to this very day. So I'm just keeping it real with you. You know, this ain't shit that I'm just making up. It's reality, alright? I've been raised around a lot of black women, so I know how these bitches operate. Okay? And a lot of you brothers need to be aware of it. Okay? Look at shit for what it is. Look at it for what it really fucking is. Alright? My daddy. Same thing. My daddy was separated from, from my mom. Okay? When I was first born. My daddy fucked around and, and got my mom pregnant. My mom was 16. He was uh, 20... 22. Alright? My granddaddy said, you gonna marry her or else I'm gonna press statutory rape charges against your ass. My daddy married my mom. Okay? And my dad was in the military, so he, he left and shit. Alright? And uh, mom, while my dad was gone, of course dad was sending money home and shit like that for me. Mom went around, went fucked around with one of her old high school buddies. Just, just like a, a, a year later. And got pregnant for him. Okay? And, um, his mama said, My son ain't marrying you. You already have a baby? And I'm not sure this baby is his, etc., etc. Nah, he's, he's gonna stay away from you. That's that, okay? I never found this shit out until my daddy told me back in 1998, okay? My daddy was, is a, was a drinker, okay? And you want to fucking talk his head off to me late at night when I got to go to work the next fucking morning. He want to sit up half the damn night and, and talk, all right? Now, we ain't really hardly talk during the fucking daytime, but you want to run this goddamn mouth just yipping and yapping and get pissed off if I ain't want to listen, okay? you like, Pop, I got to go to work the next morning. We talk about this tomorrow. So if I, when I tell him that, he go and started with his girlfriend, his old lady, okay? I was living with him at the time. I was in school. And his old lady was white, okay? And I'm going to get to that in a little bit. But the thing about it is, a lot of sisters have some kind of dark fucking secret, okay? The majority of them do. You might be able to get it out of them, you might not, all right? You might not. And my daddy, when he told me, he told me that my mama was very vulnerable at the time when she told him that. Okay? When she told him. But, let me get to this whole thing about my dad and this, this, this white chick. Alright? That's all my daddy dated this white woman. He, he done with sisters. Okay? Now, I'm going to tell you, I lived in a household with a white woman. Okay? My daddy's girlfriend, me and his girlfriend when I was in school. 
I want to tell you, totally, totally different. Totally different. All right? Let me trip you brothers out a second. Now, growing up in a household with none but black women, okay? This was something new to me. This is how I really kind of got an understanding the difference between a white woman and a black woman. Okay? Now this chick here was German, alright? Now, my pop told me when I first came to stay with him to go to school in the state he was living in, he said, son, you don't have to do nothing. Just go to school and go to work. That's it. Say you ain't gotta wash your clothes. You ain't gotta do this, you ain't gotta do that. That's what she here for. Like, what the fuck? I'm used to, you know, doing this shit on my own. You know? Washing my own clothes and, 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 and stuff like that and, and folding and, and, and ironing and all that kind of shit. He said, only thing we have to do, me and you, we take turns taking out the trash we take turns cutting the grass. That's all we got to do. And shit, I'm like, okay, Pop. That's, that's cool, you know. But anyway, um, this chick did every fucking thing with no complaining. He didn't give my pops no shit. If any, if any drama broke out in the household, it was because of him. And the shit broke out late at, late at night because he wanted to stay up fucking drinking. You know, when I had to go, get on and go to work in the morning. Like I said, I didn't want to hear all that bullshit he was talking about. Telling me stories and all that shit. You know, keeping me up, trying to keep me up late at night. Drinking bull and Hennessy at the same time. I couldn't, fuck no, I can't do that. Uh-uh, nah. That's your thing, fuck, I can't do that. You know, getting on the internet at the time, AOL at the time. AOL was hot at the time, okay? That's, that was the spot to get some pussy, all right? AOL, the chat, all right? You get on there and want to fuck around with women, showing me women he, you know, fucking around with. No thanks, Pop. I can't do that, you know? But the thing about it is this. A sister has issues, okay, with certain things. They ain't gonna tell you that. They not gonna tell you brothers that shit. Sisters have issues with certain things. They'll bring it to another sister. They, that's why they always keep that best friend around, okay? That, that best female friend or they auntie, they will, talk, they will go to them about certain things before they even come to you, okay? And the only reason why you'll find out about it in case y'all get into an argument and she, she say some shit, okay? Or either, let me, let me give you an example. You get into an argument with your old lady. You find out some shit that she should have been told you, okay? Come out of her mouth when you get into an argument with her. She might say, well, such and such was right about you. I should have left you all. She right, was right that you all this, you all that. You know, like, where the fuck this thing came from? You know? Or either one of her and her best friends get into it and you just happen to be, you know, next to her while they having it out on the phone or some shit and they all come out. When two women get into it, two best friends get into it, boy, that's like shit flying out of the damn treasure, treasure chest. Shit going everywhere, be like, damn. I didn't even know this was in that box. Hmm? All this shit coming out now. And it might be some shit that you, that make you wanna bust upside a goddamn head, okay? Best friend might say, oh, well tell, tell, tell your, tell your man about 
what you did, you know, such and such and such and such. You're like, yeah, tell me about that. And if bitch say, oh, I don't know what you're talking about. Bitch, you know what I'm talking about. Don't play dumb. That's the kind of shit I'm talking about, all right? That's why we are, in the state, number one with HIV and AIDS because of bitches lying, okay? Because of bitches lying and fucking around, all right? You can lie and fuck around, but you can't, you can't lie about the damn disease, okay, that's going around. That's the kind of shit I'm talking about. Now, you know what? I've been thinking long and hard. I've been thinking about putting you a glove on the market. Okay? A glove you can smack your bitch with and she start lying to you. It's gonna, the name of the glove is going to be called Get Her Mind Right. Okay? It's going to be made out of latex. Yep, made out of latex. Where you can smack her ass. You know, without hurting your hand, without feeling that sting, all right? It's gonna have extra padding behind it, so if you smacking it, you wanna bring it back like that, you can do it, okay, without messing up your knuckles and shit. I'm gonna have me a glove, a, a glow in the dark glove also, all right? Whereas if you work in the late shift, and you get into it with her ass on the phone, and she hang up in your face, and you catch your ass while, you, while she's sleeping, you ain't even got to turn on the light. You had that glove, that glove be glowing, all in the dark, okay? You think, think it's a damn light show going on in that room. How much smacking will be going on in there? But on a serious note, brothers, you got to be careful about these sisters. There's a lot, of, a lot of propaganda about brothers being on the DL spreading the disease to sisters, which is bullshit, okay? That is fucking bullshit, all right? A lot of sisters, pussy is in demand, okay? That's the old, that's the highest thing, that, that's the most thing that's in demand when it comes to sex, all right? Not nobody's asshole, all right? Pussy. Pussy and mouth. And I want to tell you, brothers, you can catch that shit in the mouth also. Alright? The mouth is full of bacteria. Alright? Stay wet all the time. Don't buy off of that bullshit about, oh, you, you can't catch AIDS or HIV in the mouth. That bitch got a, uh, a motherfucking abscess on the tooth. And that mother bleeding, or she she got some shit in her mouth, a a a, 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 a gun that's bleeding or some shit. You more than likely could catch it, just like that. You know, she got sores in her mouth and, and all of that. And you lay around her and she giving you head and, and one <laughs> and one of them sores, one of them sores pop. You gonna be in for a rude awakening. I'm telling you, brothers, all right? That's why you gotta be smart. Cause these hoes, they be lying, all right? They will fucking lie. And you can't trust what they say. You cannot. You can't, I don't care how, how good it sounds, how smooth it sounds, how nice it sounds, all right? Because a lot of these sisters, are out there fucking around, okay? They got this sidekick with them, the girlfriend, they fucking around, they fucking. They fucking around, okay? Just be aware that a lot of sisters are fucking around. Men don't cheat by themselves, all right? They don't. A lot of sisters, they, they fucking around. And you need to be aware of that. You know, I don't care what your girls say, don't go by what your girls say. Go by what you see. That's what you do. Go by what you see and go by her history. All right? Because you can get caught up by having some shit. By getting some motherfucking disease and you're going to end up in jail because you didn't hurt the bitch or you didn't kill the bitch, okay? 
even though the bitch would deny and say, oh, you ain't get it from me. You gave it to me. Bitch, you been had that. Huh? You been had it. You know, a lot of these women, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you some stories, okay? About how, some, how nasty some of these bitches are. All right? Nasty, nasty. There was this one chick I remember back in the 90s, all right? Um, I can't remember her name. I think her, her name was, well, I ain't gonna say her name, but anyway. Um, I used to chat on the phone with this chick, you know? And she seemed like she's real nice, all right? She look like, uh, she reminds you of uh, Aaliyah, okay? You know, R. Kelly's uh, old, old lady that got killed in the, the, the plane wreck? She reminds you of her. She had the nose ring and all, you know? Slim like her and everything. Had the hair like her and all. And I wanted to get in that ass. I was trying to. You down right, I was trying, I was trying. We went to school together. So when we got on the phone, we were talking about schoolwork and shit like that. And uh, the conversation, you know, start, we start talking about relationships and all that kind of stuff. Until one day, she told me she was pregnant. I'm like, what? She said, I'm pregnant. Now, I ain't never hit it, so I know it ain't mine, all right? But, um... Uh, She's like, I'm pregnant, I don't know what to do. I said, what you mean you don't know what to do? She said, well, the guy that I like, I'm not pregnant for him. Me and him have been sleeping together, but I'm not pregnant for him. She said, I'm pregnant for another guy, but he thinks it's for him. I said, how do you manage to pull that off? She said, well, I've been sleeping with both of them at the same time every day. Meaning that one nigga nut up in her, okay? And then the next one go in right after that. She ain't cleaning up now. You know, she ain't, she ain't going to dish that pussy or nothing like that. That nigga going in right after that, okay? And thinking that, that that's his. Thinking that that's his nut up in there, okay? That's what she told me in so many words, all right? And I was like, this scandalous ass bitch here. That's what I'm thinking in the back of my head. I ain't saying this shit, okay? I'm feeling relieved that I ain't never slept with her ass, okay? Because I would have been caught up in that shit also, you know? But, uh... That's just one instance. This was just back in the 90s, okay? This was just back in the 90s. Now, this decade is far, it's even far worse, okay? Far, far worse. You have a lot of bisexual women running around here, okay? Bisexual. To me, there ain't, no, there ain't no fucking such thing, all right? Unless you got a, a, a dick and a pussy, then yeah, you bisexual. What they call a hermaphrodite, okay? There ain't no such thing as no, no, no bis, bisexual. You don't have both organs, okay? Either you gay or either you straight. That's it, okay? That is it. But a lot of these so-called bisexual sisters running around here fucking with me and that women, okay? And uh, that's the ratio of two to one to catching something right there overall. If, let me break it down to you brothers. Fuck that bullshit about us brothers passing along to black women, okay? The HIV AIDS, that's bullshit, okay? Cause you got more women that's bisexual 
so-called bisexual than men, all right? That's fucking around. Women hang around women all the damn time, okay? And they say it'll only be a matter of time before she might feel the touch of a woman, okay? It's encouraged in this society these days for a woman to be with another woman, all right? So, if a sister sleeping with both men and women, who gonna have it the most? Who gonna have HIV AIDS the most? It's gonna be the sister, okay? Hands down. Simple fucking arithmetic, alright? The sister sleep around more than black men. Like I say, us brothers, we don't cheat by ourselves. We don't. I told you, you can go on back page and see the holes on there, okay? And they, they're gonna, it's gonna be sisters, alright? And a lot of them swing both ways. A lot of them. A lot of them on that back page just before the drug happened. Okay? Because they ain't no, ain't no woman gonna give them no goddamn money. Like a man. Alright? And let me explain something else to you brothers. A lot of so-called lesbians, I, I don't know what's going on. Alright? What's going on in a woman's body. But a lot of so-called lesbians ain't lesbians. Okay? A true lesbian don't want no no dick, okay? She don't want no deal though in her. Okay? She ain't gonna fuck with no deal though. She gonna fuck with that click, alright? That's how she get her orgasm. That's her spot. She don't want nothing going in there. Okay? But so called lesbians with the deal though, you know, and, and, and all the other bullshit, a lot of them sleep on me or not. A lot of them fucking sleeping with men now. Okay? And I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna keep it real with you brothers, alright? Keep it fucking real. Alright? I was with one last night. I was with a so-called lesbian last night. Okay? And the only reason why she wanted to, 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 to let me so-called get in that ass is because she needs some mother some gas money, okay? She needed some fucking gas money to make the work today, okay? Which was last night, but she needs some gas money. I've been knowing this chick since, shit, October, okay? Me and her was cool, you know? A thick, fine red bone, but you can't really see that shit because she dressed just like a dude. When she all she dressed just like a fucking dude. I'm talking about tennis shoes and all. When them clothes came off, Nothing but curves, a fine, sexy ass red bone. All right. So, like I said, a true lesbian ain't gonna want no kind of dick in her. Nothing like that. Okay. So don't fall for the illusion about this so-called lesbian only like women. Cause a lesbian will sleep with a man. To get what she need, cause she knows she can't, she can't fuck with another woman like that. Okay, she knows she can. All right, so don't get caught up in that bullshit. Don't. And I'm gonna tell you, brothers, some of the best pussy is les, so-called lesbian pussy. Okay, pussy that ain't got much that you know high mileage on. Good, good pussy. All right good pussy. I ain't talking about the kind of chick that just, you know, you get on top of and, 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 and you do all the work and she just sit there? Fuck no. This, this, this bitch was throwing it back at me, alright? She was throwing it back at me. She, she was liking it. Alright? So that's why I say don't get caught up in that bullshit about lesbianism and all that shit. Okay? It's just propaganda. It's just an illusion. And I talked about this shit uh, earlier this year, and last year too, about how a lot of sisters, when the economy get fucking worse, they're gonna start putting on the dress again. Huh? Go back and look at my videos, that's, that's what the fuck I was talking about. Either you uh, suit up and be like a man, or you put on a goddamn dress and get under a man. 
those are my exact words, okay? So I, I you know, I stand by that shit 100%. And I'm telling you, brothers, lesbian pussy is some good pussy. Good, 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 good pussy, all right? Don't get caught up in that bullshit, all right? Now, a lot of you brothers, you know, have to be smart about the decisions that you make when you fucking around with a black woman. Be smart. Be smart. Be smart. Be smart and strap up, okay? If you ain't sure about it, all right? And what I mean by you ain't sure about her, two things. Don't go by what the fuck she say, all right? Let me tell you some questions I asked a female when I first meet her. If I know, I want to get in that ass. One question is, if you, you don't start off asking her right off the top. No, you don't. First question is, when did you lose your virginity? Number two, um, how many more night stands you done had? Number three, have you ever had a threesome? Number four, how many men have you ever had sex with in one fucking day? Okay. Number five, how many times have you been in love? Number six. Have you ever been with a woman? All right. Number seven. Have you ever had an abortion? And if so, how many abortions you done had? Number eight. Um, what's the freakiest thing you ever done? Okay, eight. Eight questions. Off the top of my head. That's those eight with the term, all right? If I choose to sleep with her or not, you niggas need to stop being scared. Ask them fucking questions. You ask them. If she gonna get offended, you already know the answer right there. Oh, I don't think that's appropriate to talk about. Bitch, you talk about that kind of shit and much more with your girlfriend. Fuck, don't, don't have that bullshit to me. That's what a lot of them, you know, try to, try to make it seem like they feel uncomfortable by answering no questions. If you ain't got nothing to hide, answer them. Answer the goddamn questions. Now, I don't even really have no, no problems with sisters answering them questions. I say maybe one out of 20. I didn't have, that, that's didn't have problems answering the question, answering those questions, okay? But majority of them will lie or tell the truth or half truth. And you go from there. If you within their presence and that pussy ain't smelling right, that, that pussy smell like raw fish or no, dead fish, you better leave it alone. You niggas better leave it alone. I don't care how desperate for the pussy you are, nigga, if you don't want to get sick, you better walk away from it. If a pussy smell like rotten fish, you better leave it alone. All right? And you don't want to be sick. I mean, some of you niggas, some of you niggas ain't, were hit it. You were hit it. And I'm talking about hitting it with a rubber. Don't you fucking, don't hit it with a rubber. Now if it got a little scent to it, then that's up to you. But if, if, if it's smell like fucking raw fish, that's a sign, okay? That's a sign that it ain't clean. You don't want to go in it, all right? You don't. Cause you got some trifling bitches, all right? Them trifling, trifling bitches. That be fucking around. Niggas be nothing in that pussy. And they don't want to do it. They don't want to clean it. 
nothing. They just let them not sit in there and, and still be there for the, the next nigga that come, come right along in there. And then he go in. Wrong or either with a condom. It's still nasty. Okay? You gotta be smart. You know, I, like I said, you fucking jack off if that pussy ain't smelling right. You jack it off. I have it, have her jack it off for you. But if it ain't smelling right, don't hit it. That's one sign that the bitch might have something. Okay? If you got a yeast infection, don't hit it. Don't. Don't hit it at all. I mean, don't even let us fucking suck on your dick without a rubber. Okay? Like I say, you can still catch something like that. A lot of niggas put on rubbers, but take the damn rubber off and let us let them get you head. You might as well have kept the damn rubber on. Shit. It's fluids being exchanged. That's how you catch something. All right? You niggas need to be conscious of that shit. You need to be conscious of it. And be smart about it. No girl suck on your dick. And, 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 and you putting the rubber on the, 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 the getting that pussy? You, like I said, you might as well go on, the, go on the pussy raw. You might as well. You know? Don't get caught up. You got a lot of scandalous bitches, okay? And I'm not saying us brothers, all of us are saints, because we're not. But women, a lot of women these days, a lot of these sisters got some fucking gang to them, okay? A lot of them then evolved and got some fucking gang. All right? On a level that, that, that you don't even know about unless you was raised in the household with black women. And you seen that shit up close and personal, all right? How they play men and shit like that to get what they want, okay? What, what actually gets said behind closed doors when the man ain't around, okay? Women talk the way, the women talk that womanly talk, they let it all hang out around the kids, okay? The kids pick that shit up. I was one of those kids, okay? So that's why I know how to deal with a black woman, you know? When I want to deal with her. When I want to. And the majority of the time when I want to deal with a black woman is because I want some pussy. To keep it real with you, I want some pussy. I know I can't really get what I really want and need out of a black woman here in America. If I want to give my heart to a woman, it's probably going to have to be with a, with a sister across seas somewhere, okay? That can appreciate a man. All right? Because a lot of the good ones, a lot of the good sisters here, they are already taken or then, 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 then uh, lost their ways, okay? Letting other women get in, get in their fucking head, okay? She crying behind a man that she loved, okay? Whether the nigga good for or not, she crying behind a man she loves. Her girlfriend gonna be in her head. Oh girl, you don't need him. He ain't no good for you, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And it's a re re repetitive, re repetitive process of her going through those changes with men until she think that all men are like that. Okay, because she keep choosing the wrong fucking ones. All right. Women make bad choices, all right? They make bad fucking choices, all right? A lot of it has to do with uh, DNA, genetic code. Make bad goddamn choices and don't really figure that shit out until they get older. That's why when I fuck around with an older chick, 
I know that she done done some shit back in her day to, 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 to the point where she don't have a man in her life at the age of 40 and 50, okay? And that she will put up with any kind of bullshit I dish out at her just to keep me around, all right? Because I'm fine, I'm sexy, and she's insecure. She gonna want to keep my attention, okay? So whatever I want from her, she gonna give it to me. I'm talking about every motherfucking thing. Bitch, you give me some ass, you give me some pussy, you give me some head, okay? If I want that, she gonna give it up. Cause she knows she gonna have to compete with a lot of other sisters that's younger than her that I might find more attractive or more appealing. So when I fuck around with an older chick, it's usually because of a sex thing. I'm getting in that ass, point blank. I'm getting in it. I'm not. I, I'm no. I don't want. I don't want to go nowhere with you. I don't want to take you out to dinner. You bitches, just give me some pussy, okay? That's that's all I want. You give me some fucking pussy. You rub my goddamn back. You rub my feet. You rub my head. I treat you right. But as far as me putting a ring on your finger and all that shit, uh-uh. We, we ain't doing nothing romantic, all right? You just give me that pussy and that's it. And I'll treat you right. That's it. So that's why when I fuck around with older women, my, my patience, okay, is very low compared to a younger chick. That's, you know, that's, that, that still got all the curves and, and fine, and she knows she's fine, and young, and tender, you know. Whether she got kids or not. But a lot of sisters, when they're young, they, they still look good when they have kids, after they have kids. Once they get older, it starts to fade away. Because a, a lot of them don't exercise. They try to keep their figures. It can happen. But a lot of them don't try to exercise to keep their figure. Okay? So the self-esteem go down and they willing to put up with any nigga that show them some fucking attention. Okay? So that's my that's my thing, brothers. And I hope that you learn something from this video. I've been trying to make it for the longest. I just never got around to it, all right? But it's important. One of the most important videos that I feel that I made because the black woman is a part of us, okay? It's our other half. We need to correct the other half, okay? When it falls out of balance, we need to bring it back in balance, okay? But there's too many fucking distractions. The goddamn white man, you know, the, the, she decided with the white man, she just don't know it, okay? She just don't know it. She don't see nothing wrong with it. Like I said, there's a lot of sisters putting us in jail, all right? A lot of them. A lot of them part of the justice system and all that shit. A system that wasn't even built for them and wasn't even built by them. Okay? So th you can't tell them that shit. You can't. You cannot. The kind of shit I've talked about in my videos, I probably wouldn't talk about it with a sister. Fuck no. Because she don't have that understanding. Alright? She don't. You don't have to understand that's why I put these videos out for you brothers, okay? For you brothers so y'all can understand what the fuck I'm talking about. You have much more of a chance of understanding me than a sister, okay? You know, you gotta take into uh, the account that a lot of them put, put that shit in their head. Put the goddamn, uh, Term in their head, and you don't know what kind of effects they might have, okay? You don't know what kind of effects they might have or anything like that. 
I'm pretty sure it has long-term effects though. You put some goddamn lie in your head, that burn your head, you know, that go in your scalp. What you put on your skin, it goes, it goes in your skin. Okay, it goes in your system. So maybe that might be one of the things why they can't understand us, okay? Besides taking all the goddamn uh, hormone pills and and birth control that, that blow, blow their asses out and stuff like that, get them all bloated, that shit has a, effect on their body, long terms and shit, okay? So maybe that's why you can maybe understand what the fuck I'm talking about, because we ain't got that shit going in our body, all right? So you brothers, I hope y'all get it. I hope you apply it. And I hope it'll benefit you. Because these goddamn black women going mad out here. They are going fucking mad. You know, and uh if we it's up to us. It's up to us brothers to try and bring them back in the balance. That's one of them bitches calling me right now. It's up to us to bring them back in the balance, okay? And the thing about it, the thing about it, yeah, that's one of them. The thing about it is it ain't up to the white man. It ain't up to nobody but us. These are our fucking women. Nobody else's. These are our women that's out here fucking around. Okay? And and, and, and spreading diseases and, 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 and fucking up the household and everything. Put, putting us out of the households and shit. Okay? So it ain't up to the white man. White man needs to mind his own fucking business and let us deal with our domestic affairs. Okay? The Chinese deal with their own. The, the Hispanics deal with their own domestic affairs. The Arabs deal with their own domestic affairs. Okay? We the only fucking ones in the world that can't really have a say so over our woman without the white man being involved. Okay? She go run to the fucking white man when she wants some kind of justice, okay? Or if that means putting your black ass on child support, getting a restraining order on you, any damn thing, okay? Anything. So I mean, you brothers gotta be smart. And like I said, I hope this video, this video benefits you and you learn something from it. Cause these motherfucking women are out of control. They out of control and things are not getting any better, all right? Abortion is through the roof. It's through the goddamn roof. I know one chick that can have four goddamn abortions, okay? Four. Four of them. It's sad. And neither one of them was for me. Uh, I got in that ass. That was before she found had four of them. I've I known this chick since high school. I ran into her a couple years ago and talked to her. Four fucking abortion. And she married. And her husband don't even know nothing about her. Okay? The kind of shit I'm talking about. You brothers be smart, be safe, and use your best judgment when you fucking around with a sister, okay? Don't get caught up. Don't get caught up. Alright? And I end this video March 28, 2012, and signing off.